Good morning. It's not morning. So here I am. I've got some sort of fever burning up, sweating out of my arms. I am fucking miserable. Definitely have a fever. It's messing with my thinking because I cannot think. And I'm so stressed out because I don't know what the fuck is going on. And all my shit relies on, on this. Which I know is a disadvantage. I know. I know. I've got a cough. I don't know what I stirred up when I was trying to clean. But it definitely gave me a cough. Like a, I got this cough that's not even nothing comes out. It's just like a tick, tickling hair in my throat. No message back. I can send a message and get a message back. I mean, I don't know what the... It's not really like my dad to not have, uh, you know, not try to send some information. There's been a couple times and I, I don't even want to be in this train of thought where it's like I felt like Someone was trying to fuck me over. And, uh. Get me in some sort of fucking trouble. For trying to. Be here with him. Or something. It's very weird. Because it's, it's a lot of the gang stalker shit. The gang stalker element. Wants to control everything. It wants to control everything, especially what you're doing, and it knows how to because it's like some weird AI or something. I don't look. I don't even like talking about it because it perpetuates it. But the, there is enough of the reality of it to be, you know, aware of. And I just don't. I just don't. I don't. I don't like it. The idea of it. It's fucked up. It takes a lot of love and care, and I do, and I have a lot of love and care, but the ability for other people to come in and somehow manipulate or pull the rug out or do some fucked up shit, I'm highly aware of, and it's being played on now. I don't know if it's because it's end times, it's where we are in the economy, I don't know, I don't fucking know, I just don't fucking know, and I'm not able to defend against it because I'm fucking sick. I'm fucking sick. I'm burning up. I got heartburn. I forgot to get this medicine for it. So I can't lay down. So I'm delirious. Because if I lay down, I get heartburn and it'll choke me and I'll probably die. And... Like, normally we have people come over to some degree, but that's, everyone stopped. So it's like, it is like one of those weird isolation maneuvers. And I, I, I feel guilty for feeling like that or being aware like that because there's somebody actually sick, you know, I called the ambulance and sent his ass to the hospital. I watched him throw up blood. But there's these other, you know, I'm just being honest. Like, the heightened paranoid, paranoid nature of, of uh, the situation has been the part of the weird problem with being in this place the whole time. There's always been some weird outside element that is fucking with me. You know, and to some degree, 
I have rationalized that, you know, it's got to be at least my higher self, you know, pushing me, but there's not, it doesn't make any sense to some degree. Our friend Bear, his son committed suicide. And they got evicted from the place that they're living. And it's like, Their situation could just, they, it's like, part of me thinks that they're trying to make me suicide myself and move me, you know, because there's that weird military angle. I'm just saying it because I think it, you know, if I don't share my thoughts and dispel them, then I would, I would compress them and be a paranoid, real paranoid schizophrenic. But I'm not. I'm just a, I'm just hyper aware. I'm hyper aware. This helps me out. I haven't wanted to make any video. I didn't really feel like making this. I'm fucking sick. I'm not trying to voice that. I would love to get in the bathtub and do that, but my bathtub's clogged up. I had to plunge it and have hair come out. It will not drain. I've jammed a wire into the motherfucker and I can't get it to drain it'll drain at, at, oh, after a long period of time and leave fucking uh, hair in it and that's, that's great so then to get that out I've got to fucking spray the shower push it to the edge I can't get it all out and I don't, I don't want to get in that I, just, I don't feel like getting it makes me want to puke when I'm sick the smell of funky water, dishes and shit, will make me fucking throw up. And I do not want to throw up. I was starving, so I made some eggs. And I eat those. And that's my dinner. I'm done. But there's like so much... There's so much shit. I just don't, and I don't know what's going on. And it's not normal. And every time I called them, like I said... Um, something happened, you know, and he, I've got hit and cleaned out his voice thing. He's got to put it on a battery. So he's got it and he, I don't know how he's going to talk when the battery runs dead, you know, would have took that thing, but I cleaned it up because it had all kinds of like roach poop, the corner of his bedroom where I cannot get in reach. That shit is cleaned out. I fogged it, destroyed the fucking animals, the creatures. Left the area. But there's some things that I'm supposed to have that I can't find that I've mislocated. That I can bypass, except for the food stamp card. I set it somewhere to get ready to go and shop, and now I can't find it. Because I've got I've got the fucking fever brain, and I can't fucking think, so I'm not I'm just not looking for it right now. I know it's not lost, it's not gone. Just all these things, they're like the thousand cuts you get for torture, but mental. Cha -cha 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 -cha. Death of a thousand cuts. Where I'm at. I still ask for prayers. I don't know what's going on. If he's got cirrhosis, he said he had cirrhosis. You know, and that's what pissed me off because he wasn't dr he wasn't drinking. He started drinking when he had to manage his pain, and he doesn't like. He he makes some gin and tonic shit, but it tastes like shit. And it's some pretty stout alcohol. But he doesn't really, he's not, doesn't really go hard on it. Uh. And he drinks his wine. He has to have the wine. He had, his wine has to have the wine like I have to have my dip. Fed the birds. Cat, cat has shown back up. He disappeared for a little while in the cold. I had pretty good sleep last night. 
almost didn't get to sleep because of the heartburn. It kept me up for a long time. It's just, I get it like schedule. I'm on schedule. Like as soon as it's 10 o'clock, the heartburn starts coming up. If I don't have baking soda to put in water, I'm fucked. Because there's nothing I can do. I have to, I have to, I have to sometimes go in there, stick my finger down my throat and throw up. And that doesn't help. It helps a little bit, but it doesn't, it really isn't what you want to do. I'm not completely unhealthy. I've got a big ass gut. But I feel like something may be wrong with my shit too. I don't know. I think they fuck us with the foods. I know it. But sometimes I would get on those kicks of getting healthy and exercising and shit. I just don't I just don't care. I don't have I don't have the fucking fortitude or will to fucking worry about some shit like that right now. I mean, but I am slowly making changes to get back that way. But right now, I'm totally demoralized. I don't know what's going on, and I feel like it's a fucking... It's not only an attack, like, my dad's health attacked him, but it's an attack on me because, like... And I don't mean, like, from him. I mean from whatever is the system lords, whatever... Whatever. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. There's something very strange. It's always been strange here. There's always been like a weird Jade Helm. Never left. Artificial intelligence. So what? It's been here. Ain't nothing new about it. It's been here. It's been it's been dialoguing. It plays roles. It tries to it tries to summon you to court. Using my name when I didn't do it to someone else and do them the same way to me. So I sent a message to my ex's family that my dad was in the hospital. And that's all I'm going to say. The last I was like, you know, I don't know. You know, it, it's not helpful. It's not helpful, you know, not communicating and just being like, oh, I'm not going to deal nothing. I'm just going to take my money. I'm like, they send all kinds of shit. There's shit in there talking about um, taking part of the life insurance money to go to my child's support debt, which is only a debt because they're running me at like making, I make like $9 an hour when I work. I used to make like $23 an hour. They're charging me at $23 an hour for child support. And the woman doesn't even let me talk or see to my kids. So now that they sent they since they have that debt, they minus any money I get from anything. I had to pay fifty dollars to do my taxes, trying to get that damn stimulus. And they sent me a zero dollars. It goes to your debt. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, the only reason why I didn't I didn't I don't have to pay any more if I don't do my taxes, but I did them to be. To at least try to get the stimulus that everyone else got. I didn't get it. I got $206 was all I was going to get. And they took it. They took it. You know? It's just bullshit. The little bit of decency that you need from humans. Vanishes. The minute that they can just observe and be petty or vain about what, the way they see. On the surface, you can look and see whatever the hell you want, but you don't know the dynamics of anything. I know that about when I look at shit, I don't know what people have going on. So I don't, tr I don't fucking judge or try to enforce some value. But everybody's got an idea about the way things have got to be. They know everything. You know how people are, especially the godless people. They know everything, and this world is like a fucked up, everybody's in some fucked up gang, and I'm not joining that gang. I'm not going to do it. I'd rather fucking die. Seriously. Seriously. <coughs> <coughs> so that's where I'm at. I don't feel good. 
I'd love to go to sleep, but I fucking, I have heartburn. As soon as I lay down, can't lay down. And definitely heartburn is part of the stress, you know, of just not knowing what the fuck is going on, you know? I don't know. I tell my dad not to do shit that he tries to do shit. And I was like, man, you don't need to do that. You have a full grown man that can do any fucking thing you want. But he, he doesn't. I don't know what I don't. I really don't know what's what's wrong with him. I know partially like we're two different types of people, but he he could easily get what he wanted out of it. But I think he does have a lot of past of his own trauma and shit. Because I'm not I'm not that difficult to understand why why I am the way I am and if I try to tell him he just he blocks it out he just shuts it off and doesn't listen and if he'd listen he'd know and he'd be able but he doesn't he didn't want to do that and that does go to that whole time missing as a child because when you you know how your child is because you're around them or you don't. They become a man on their own. And then you have to find out how they are. And I'm completely obedient and submissive to trying to allow that to happen. And, and get nowhere. Get nowhere. So that's it. That's basically what it is. My other stepdad's got to get a pacemaker. And he's real upset about that. They said his heart's not beating fast enough or something. I talked to him for a real long time. I talked to my brother for a real long time. And my friend was trying to be helpful with the porch, but I mean, that's just something my dad wanted to do on his own. That's one of his things that he wanted to do because it he's getting old. and He, he wants to still have things he can do. And feel like he's not totally gone. Fuck, you can't talk. So there's a lot of self-loathing and shit that comes with that being disabled. But there's so much weird, crazy paperwork and shit, you know. It just, it feels, it does feel like a setup. Like they're trying to pull me out of my home for something. And I haven't even done anything. I haven't even done anything. You know? I feel like they're going to try to say, he's, he's been neglected. Hey, how the hell has he been neglected? If he can't fucking eat because he's got an ulcer or something like that. He had diarrhea for like two weeks, but it was that, probably that liver. It's probably that liver and that shit. But when he started having the evidence of there being blood in his shit, I was ready to call hospital. Like, it's time to go. He didn't let me know until later. It wasn't until after the business of Friday, closing of Friday, that he said that. And I was like, oh, shit. And you need to go. Because I had to wait till Monday to call the doctor. When the doctor's office, you know, 9 a.m. on the phone, talking to the lady, telling her all the shit. What they said, if you can't take him to the hospital, which is not preferred. Because they could still turn him away and he'd still have to sit in a waiting room and he could not do it. Dude, I, I had to help him put his pants on. He couldn't even get his pants on. He was out of there. And about the time that about the time that I left, I left with a friend of mine to go to the store for us. Being that distance away, I know my bioenergy and his bioenergy, us being family, my body's system is partly programmed to assist him and to power him up like I can't even go and sit in the room and being in there I adjust the distance I am away from him to power him up or not 
and I don't, I can't explain how that works. But leaving that distance, he got rapidly sick and nearly dead. And he told me that, and I was like, I didn't, I didn't connect it until like yesterday. That it probably has to do with the biology and the, the synchronicity and the symbiosis of, you know, being a healthcare provider, buffering his space. He's got his own personal shit going on. You know, I do a lot of shit for him that he can't do. And I, I don't mind, I don't mind doing it at all. I don't, I would do a lot more if he would let me. I think he's just struggling with being old and not being able to do what he wants to do, which seems pretty um, part of life. You know, I'm very aware of that. I won't have that from my son, you know, and it shouldn't be like that. You know, we should be able to make amends and, and connect and do whatever. I had a problem with my dad when I was a kid because all the shit my mom would talk about him. He's a lazy son of a bitch and all that. You know what? That's not true. That was just her perspective, you know, and I know that that's the way it is with families are split apart. And I just don't have that type of spirit. You know, I want to connect and I want I want there to be a connection between my kids. And I'm be, I've been robbed of it, really, because I'm right here. I don't know where she's at. I was talking to my son on some app that he used or whatever. And then she just took it away from him. You know, not a care in the world. You know, I wouldn't have done her like that. But he abandoned her. She got on the stand and helped the cops lie and say that they arrested me for some shit at a whole different place. She got on the stand and lied. After what she did, what did she do? She ran into the bathroom and hid. And me and her dad got in a fight. Her dad that murdered her mom. That she had to be up his ass. And she did this job for him. He was dead real fast. That's all I'm saying. She told me she was going to see him die, and she did. And, you know, if you're, if you're aware of your subconscious, you know she wanted him to die. She didn't even go to his funeral. Called me to help make sure he didn't get lost in the underworld. And now I'm thrown away too. Just fuck you. You know. This is a fucked up world. Just saying. 